Most workout facilities are more like Dodgeball's Globo Gym as opposed to Average Joe's from the same movie. Treadmills, TVs, loads of people. But there's a place in Northwest Ohio that bucks this trend, and because of that, the clientele is anything but average. There are no signs of life. Literally, nothing here prepares anybody for what's inside past the plain looking, rusted side door. If you take a look around, you know, it's, uh, it's an old warehouse, you know, and there's a couple rats running around in here, anyways, as we speak. Press. Welcome to the Rat's Nest, a hideout for the best and brightest athletes in Northwest Ohio. Dan Jones became Jack Newhart's personal trainer roughly five years ago, making the move from fitness guru to specializing in sports. One thing Dan had to do to make the adjustment was to make his workouts sport specific. For instance, in football, he's all about explosion. Sports specific training is all about fast switch fiber acceleration, getting from point A to B quickly. Even if it means pushing a sled to get there, Dan's known affectionately by his clients as being certifiably insane. A little, little left of center, as, uh, as I like to say, but the more we started to work together, I realized what a, what a great guy he is and how much fun these, uh, these you know, miserable workouts can be. It's almost like the military and, and the Navy SEALs and Special Forces. It's uh, trying to get your mind in the right place beyond where it's normally used to going. The results are clear. In two years, future Michigan football player Jack Millers gained about 50 pounds of muscle. His brother Matt's gained about 70. You know, you hate it a little bit right now. You're thinking, God, you know, I'd rather be laying on the couch or in the pool or something like that. But, you know, for the big picture, when it comes Saturdays in the big house, uh, that's what it's all about. And these are young people. So to make that kind of impact on them and to give them the, the tools mentally and physically so that they can succeed, quite frankly, not only in, in sport, but quite frankly in life, uh, certainly makes you feel good. And maybe someday they'll be able to catch the real deal, the gym's inspiration, an actual rat named Stuart after Stuart Little. That's a goal, kind of like Rocky chasing the chickens. Maybe we'll try to catch Stuart one day. I think when we leave, he gets out here on the, on the turf and does a few agility drills and whatnot. He, he watches us, he learns. Because despite appearances, there's plenty of activity on the inside helping these gym rats improve their survival skills for the outside world.